Okay, good morning, good morning, good morning. Stocks go up, stocks go down. Home sweet home. Uh, okay, so today you have this Biden thing that he's going to go after all these companies and stop selling to China again. That's going to hurt Lamb Research. May be able to get out fast, or let's see what happens. But here's the thing ASML is off. And that applies to ASML too, but ASML is not a U.S. company, so very, very interesting. So keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on that. Then we figure it out. Then we figure it out. Okay. Uh, snowman, how far can snow go? Snow can go. Snow can go. Snow can go. Snow can go. Okay. Uh, this thing was at 205, and now it's coming back in because here even MDB went up. MDB should not have taken out this this 260 because we're in our no man's land don't kind of use it for four to six weeks but it had a good move so here's what's going to happen uh tomorrow when the cpi comes out either we're going to go way up the cpi is going to be tame and they're going to take it way up and the market's going to run you're going to go to 30 uh 4100 4200 4300 and everything is good for maybe a, a week or two or it's going to collapse and it's going to fail and it can fail for two different reasons, okay? Uh, hold on, let me make sure that, okay. Uh, it can fail for two different reasons. Okay, the first reason is the CPI is bad. And then everything gets really bad, and I mean really ugly. And I mean ugly, 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 worse than the Cowboys offense. It gets that ugly, okay? Or. It can fail because the news is good, CPI is tame, but they still don't like the market and they're going to sell it off. And that second case is very bad because if it goes down on good news, everything collapses. Okay? Now, last week, very nice moving snow, Tesla moved, NOW is still moving. It's about another three. What a fantastic move off NOW off of 417. That 417 was about to break, and everything was going to collapse. How amazing was that one? That one's really, really nice. Okay? So got to see what happens tomorrow with the CPI. Okay? CrowdStrike continues to go. Now, Zscaler, last week we told you, this is, very, this is a very telling thing. Okay? Uh, they beat by a penny. They beat on revenue, but they beat by a penny. And it goes from a 150 PE to a 190 PE. Wow. Wow. Nothing does that. But this one did. So that's very, very bullish for the whole market. That's telling you they're ready to buy some stuff. Now, that can change tomorrow. Okay? Then we see. So now, you have several things this week. You have SPX roll. Remember, the SPX roll for newer folks is you sell this month. Because they expire, and you buy three months out, three months out. So every single time that that happens, you have one day where you're down 40, 40 plus SPX points. When they start selling that, so if they start doing that right at the open, you're going to be down 40 just like that. Okay? It happens every quarter. Okay? So I don't know when that happens, but it'll start happening at some point. And then they buy back. It's no different than if you own something, say you own Tesla options for six months, uh, and then you decide, okay, it's coming to an end, it expires, I get to sell them and then go buy it six months out again. Same type of thing, okay? So SPX roll happens. And then you have expiration week, right? You have expiration weeks. And on expiration week, there's always one day that's really violently than the downside. So you have SPX roll, you have SPX expiration, and you have CPI. Huge, huge, huge day. Okay, uh, let's go to some, some, for some, get some messages last night for some newer folks. And uh, some, some people watch the video and they understand it. Other people, they struggle a little bit. Okay, and it, it's okay. However you want to do it, it's okay. But here's the reality of the situation. I mean, I don't cut corners. 
and I just tell you exactly what it is. I don't slap you on the, pat you on the back and say, it's okay, Johnny, it's okay, Jimmy. I don't say that, okay? I just tell you if you're doing something wrong. And when you send me messages like, Sam, I have too much snow. Why do you have some, too much snow? So one guy sent me this message. Very interesting. He's like, Sam, I'm trying to make money, good money. And I'm like, are you willing to lose what you put in tomorrow? You can buy SPX up or you can buy SPX down. Or you can buy CrowdStrike up or you can buy CrowdStrike down on Zscaler before earnings. But he's like, okay, I bought the downside. I put in two bucks, but I didn't buy the upside. We told you that day, if Zscaler is good, CrowdStrike was a dollar. It was a dollar. It went to 10. Why wouldn't you buy the upside? I understand. I, I know why. Because you don't have enough money and you don't want to buy both sides. But then why are you buying the downside? Why are you buying the downside? Okay. No, think about it. We had the 187, 177.50s. They ripped. We sold those. Why? Because we had the 180s and the 185s, and we made some money on both of those. And we had NOW. It was a grand slam. We told you if snow goes, now goes. Okay, today, Tesla, you got to watch Tesla. It's finally over 300, but it's not through 303. If it gets through this 303, then you got 307, which is 921. Right, nine twenty one, and you got three twenty three twenty one, which is three sixty three or nine sixty three, which is very interesting. Okay, so then we see then we see end phase, end phase way 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 lower Friday on the downgrade, and now it's coming back. The the let me tell you, the amount of brokerages they have these algorithms and they have these things. And when they put out stuff, it asks them, is a stock up 30%? Yes. We don't put a buy on it. We put a neutral or we put a sell. But these are the stocks like UPST, et cetera, that go from 20 to 400. And they miss the whole trade. Okay. First solar is just going to go up. It's going to go up. It's going to go up. Now, if the Republicans take win back uh, seats, then they can cancel the deal. So you got to understand that. That's out there. But here's the thing. Solar is the future. Think about it. California has grid problems. Texas has grid problems. Energy problems in Europe, everywhere else. Why is solar not going to get better? It's There's not a lot of solutions in the world. But solar is one of them. And it will continue to get better. And now it's in play over time. Okay? So you got to understand that. If you understand it, you understand it. Friday, I, small account play. Oxy, I said Oxy, the 70s looked very interesting. They're 31 cents. 31 cents. Small account could have bought one or two. Two of them. Under 100 bucks. And they're going to double because it's going to go. We told you. Buffett put out a, th a statement, and he said, I want to buy more than 50%. Now, he hasn't put out a statement saying, I'm done buying, or I've already accumulated more than 50%. When that statement comes, it's going to spike that one day. So wh when is the most likely time it comes out? On a Friday or Saturday. So that's why we told you to buy that, and that's going to be a nice play. Now, maybe it stops going up. Then we see, then we see, then we see. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, nobody commenting questions. No comments, questions anywhere. Okay, back to the thing of you have to go slow. Everybody wants to make money. Okay, hold on. Uh, didn't log into this. Uh, so I can see the futures. Uh, so everybody wants to make money, but you have to go slow. Because making money is a function of being smart and and 
do you want to take risk? If you don't want to take risk, it doesn't work. You have to go slower, okay? So no, understand that, understand that, understand that. It may take you a year or two years or three years or five years or whatever to get better. And that's okay. But you're not just taking shots anytime you want to take shots. You're taking it because you're ready to take it. Okay? Then we see, then we see, then we see. Okay? Okay, that's what we know. No comments, questions. Let's get started. Okay, good morning, good morning, everybody. 912. Stocks go up, stocks go down. Three significant events. Any one of them can move the market 50 to 100 points in 10 minutes. Three significant events. Powell, I'm not Powell, uh, the CPI tomorrow, CPI tomorrow, up or down 50 to 100 very fast. Okay? That's one. SPX roll. If they start selling and they decide that's the roll they were selling them all, you could be down 50 to 100 within minutes. Okay? And then expiration week. Monthly expiration. So be ready. And know that at any time, anything bad can happen. Okay. Uh, so today, one of the things you want to watch, you want to watch... LRCX very closely. ASML is up. The Biden team is going to put restrictions on what you can sell to China. That's bad for land research, KLA, and AMAC. And it appears they all got letters telling them this that you could not discuss. But they got letters telling them this. So now, like Zscaler, if this goes up on this news, that's very bullish. In theory, it should go down. But if it goes up on bad news, very bullish. Okay? Keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on that. Okay? Zscaler, keep an eye on this one. Snow ripped and ripped. Two days. Went to 205. Then it dropped 35 points. It dropped 35 points in the next two weeks. Does Zscaler drop 30 points? If it does, right back down. You want to see if there's anything different, if it holds up. Okay? Uh, Snowman. Does it take out 193 with force? And how about snow? We told you all week, this 183, it broke. And it was a carbon copy on Friday of, our, of earnings day. You can overlay It's the exact same thing. Exactly. Wow. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. Uh, so SPX is up, what, 19? Let me look, let me look. Yeah, 21. It's up 21 now. So you got uh, 40, 90, 40, 91, 41, 32, 41, 50. CMG broke up, broke up, broke up, 1752, 1801. NVIDIA, not down on the Biden news. Isn't that interesting? 139, 136, 152 up. Land research. See if it can take out 456 and hold. Then it becomes very bullish. But just know, if they come for the market today on SPX roll or they sell into the CPI, this one will reverse fast. Okay? Uh, Goldman Sachs, slowly better. 346. ASML. Nice pop, 521. Regeneron, can it get through 752? 752, big, big, big number. CrowdStrike, 193, 201. Pan W, 572, 591. Oxys, 67, 67, 80. Two eighty one three oh one snowman one ninety two one ninety three twenty N O W four seventy seven four eighty two Tesla three oh three three oh seven N phase 
311, 316. First solar, 142. LNG, a little bit lower. See how it plays out, a little bit lower. Putin saying his stuff, market doesn't care, it's holding okay. If oil and gas gets bad again and pops, this is 167. Vera, we told you this, when it went down to 12, it had a great opportunity to buy the 15s. The 15s. Now, they're two, two and a half. Now, they're like six. Uh, but he took the 30s, the 30 calls. That's a double the stock price at two bucks. That's called stupid. He wants it to double two bucks. Crazy. Okay? And that's what we know. That's what we know. Watch what the dollar does. The dollar is way down again. If the dollar collapses, the market's not going to go lower. Interesting, interesting. Okay, that's what we know. Comments, question. Will the fact that the new 2025 leaps come out today have any impact on the market? Don't know why they come out today, uh, but thank you for that information. Uh, 2025 leaps for what stock or all stocks? I don't know if you know. Enlighten us, and we'll give you some information on it. And that's what we know. Okay. Uh, can you repeat SPX levels? SPX, uh, it's at 4091, 4131, 4132. Big, 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 big number. Big numbers. They come out for all stocks. Wow. I didn't even know that. We'll see 20, 25 leaps. Wow, wow, wow. Interesting, interesting. Let's see what happens. Everybody have a great train day. See you, chance.